Hello all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of High Voltage Engineering. In this video, I will be discussing an university question paper which has been done in the recent 2022. Let us have a brief discussion on the university question paper so that you will be getting an idea how to crack the exam and what are the probable questions which you will be asking in the upcoming uh, university examination. As you can able to observe, the question paper which is happened in the recent month February March 2022. So we can able to observe different questions which is already familiar. I have discussed entire topic related to high voltage engineering but still few more topics are remaining. Let us discuss afterwards. First in the foremost there is a question which is related to the Townsend's theory. So you have to define the Townsend's primary and secondary ionization and uh, you have to derive the expression of current growth current growth equation for considering secondary ionization. So 1B is related to bubble theory which is related to liquid dielectric material and the third question is 100% related to the Townsend's theory. You need to know the equation I is equal to I naught into E to the power alpha D. I will be showing you the answer key. Then regarding the question number 2, you will be able to understand uh, the important insulating property of liquid dielectric material. So I prepared the video already regarding what are the major properties of liquid dielectric material. It carries the uh, 6 marks and uh, what are the limitations of Townsend's theory. Okay, you have to enlist what are the major drawbacks of uh, Townsend's theory. Okay, and uh, you have to speak about streamer theory, streamer mechanism. How about the streamer mechanism? Better explain with the help of diagram. It carries uh, 8 marks. Then explain the mechanisms of thermal breakdown in solid dielectric material impact of thermal dielectric material in solid dielectric material how about the breakdown happening due to thermal breakdown so you have to calculate like uh, the heat dissipate when you apply ac field heat dissipate when you apply dc field then what about the total amount of heat which is dissipated okay so that you are supposed to uh, explain with the help of equations so that you can able to convince very easily and you can able to make the condition of dielectric breakdown in the solid dielectric material. It carries weightage of 6 marks. Moving on to uh, module 2, uh, 3A. 3A is related to question of cascade transformer. What, what do you mean by cascade transformer? Importance of cascade transformer. So that is related to uh, 3A. So you have to explain with the help of diagrams and uh, what is the necessity of serious connection of transformers. and uh, 3B you can able to see is a problem related to resonant transformer a numerical example important numerical example I have already solved you can check my playlist of high voltage engineering next is describe the working principle of Tesla coil and what are the major applications of Tesla coil so that is also covered in the previous sessions you can have a look on that however circuit diagram and equations are must I will show you the answer key in the next video so that you will be able to understand then question number 4a you can have a look on question number 4a so question number 4a is related to explain the max circuit that means multi-stage impulse generator you have to explain multi-stage impulse generator with the help of waveforms and equations another thing is the trigratron gap what do what do you mean by trigratron gap okay you must have studied about triggering and synchronization of multi-stage impulse generator one of the important topic is Trigratron gap. You have to explain about the arrangement with the components. And you have to explain the operations and functions. Afterwards, there is a problem which is related to design of a multi-stage inverse generator. You need to know how to calculate wave front time, wave tail time, etc. And what about the value of capacitor? All those things you need to calculate. So that problem also quite simple. I will show you the answer in the next video. You can have a look on that. So these are the way probable questions which will be asking in the forthcoming examination. Be ready for that. Module number 3 you can have a look on that. Probable questions will have a discussion. So you can read the question. 5a. Discuss briefly the method of measurement of HVAC by using Chubb and Fortescue method. Very clearly I have explained the diagram. How you are going to measure. What are the protective arrangement in that uh, device. So everything is clearly explained in the previous video. Another one is explain the method of measuring HVDC by using series resistance micrometer. So you have to talk about the high value of resistance and how you are going to measure. There is a moving coil meter. Everything you have to explain very clearly. So you can refer the 
playlist definitely is available and uh, another problem is related to generating voltmeter so you need to understand what is generating voltmeter importance of generating voltmeter the same problem i have worked out without changing the parameter i have explained in my uh, lecture series you can go through that so this problem will be asked in your gate level examination also so there are uh, dual benefit if you are preparing for uh, university examination and uh, competitive examinations okay without changing the parameter i have explained you can go through the previous video definitely i will show you the answer key in the forthcoming session question number 6a what is in the question number 6a uh, you have to explain the electrostatic voltmeter construction and working of electrostatic voltmeter and mention the advantages of electrostatic voltmeter 10 marks question okay we can easily grab 10 marks without any doubt another one is explain why spear gap arrangement is used what is the need for spear gap arrangement what are the factors which are affecting the spear gap arrangement even I have explained the experimental setup standing the theoretical part please refer the experimental setup so that you will understand very clearly I am damn sure about that so you have to explain about what is the importance of spear gap arrangement simple question so another one is from module 4 in that module form over voltage phenomenon I have explained uh, few topics are left, left over let me explain afterwards so you have to explain different theories of charge formation in the cloud I think this I have to do it to do the uh, concept so I am going to do very soon another one is what are the different methods of employing lighting protection on overhead line you can talk about surge arrestor lightning arrestor so many uh, parameters are the reactors okay uh, though this part I partially done but uh, other devices I have to do uh, let me take my time and complete then question number 8a explain the principles of insulation coordination I have explained very clearly of almost a detailed video I prepared importance of insulation coordination uh, BIL all those things I have explained definitely if you refer the video you will be able to answer very clearly how are the protective devices chosen for optimal insulation level in the protective system you have to explain about the different levels BIL all those things explain different methods of control over voltage due to switching you have to mention different methods each method you can at least five methods you can explain each is each carrying the weightage of two marks two into five is ten marks so if I show the answer you will understand how to write all those things then question number uh, 9a uh, in that 9a it is basically testing the section of NDT non-destructive testing and conventional testing so uh, look at question number uh, 9a you have to explain the sharing bridge and you have to derive the dielectric loss how do you calculate the dielectric loss so 9b explain the transformer ratio on bridge how do you measure the dielectric loss by using transformer ratio on bridge Next, discuss the method of discharge detection by using straight detectors. Very important, straight detectors. What are the major components of straight detectors? You have to explain the importance of each component of straight detectors. That you have to explain. Then question number 10, 10A. Explain different methods of uh, conducting short circuit test on circuit breaker. Okay, circuit breaker testing. So what are the major uh, testing, unit testing, unit test uh, so there are different testings are available that you have to explain individually at least five testing you have to explain with the help of diagrams another one is 10b name and explain briefly different tests carried out for high voltage insulators it is a general testing what are the general testing which will be carried out for the insulators three type of testings are there you can explain in brief with the help of flow chart i have explained already so i request everyone to go through the videos related to testing hv testing so definitely you will get entire answer okay and uh, if you require the notes you, you can send the mail id definitely i will drop the mail i will reply uh, the particular mail by sending the materials definitely you can make use of that and you can get a very good score in your university examination and these are the probable questions uh, it may be helpful for preparing the upcoming examination okay so you can go through that first at least you have to write once if you write once no definitely it will boost up your confidence and uh, whenever you are answering try to add more diagrams and more equations you can add more analysis graph everything you have to add so that evaluators can able to give you much more marks they will give more credits in uh, rather than uh, if you simply explaining they won't consider uh, it, if you are writing with the uh, graph then analytical part then equations uh, then uh, block diagrams flow chart it is very uh, useful uh, for you people to get more score okay so likewise you can prepare for your uh, university examination and don't forget to underline the important points
फाइनली थैंक यू फॉर